Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And um, so last night, last night we had uh, news that the Dallas Cowboys um, signed J. Ron Curse, uh, safety, uh, former Lions, former Vikings player. Um, I know, you know, we saw the J. Ron Curse, Malik Hooker, and um, Demonte. Uh, KZ or, or Kazi or however you want to say his last name, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, all three of these guys came and visited the Dallas Cowboys this week, this past week, between Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and I guess, well, they're gone today. We know that uh, DeMonte is going to also go visit with the Lions as well, so I know the Dallas Cowboys are still trying to pursue him. Um, to try to get that contract done before he gets to the Lions because he quite quite possibly could sign with them if they like what they see with him. Now, you look at these three guys, right? They all bring similar things. They all bring different things. So, um, so before I get into those, let's talk about the signing that we did do. So, we did sign J. Ron. J. Ron Curse last night. I was going to do the video last night, but it, it got late So because they, the, they did it last night. So, by the time I got wind of it, I just I was tired. So, I'm doing it today. So, uh, so Cowboys signed J. Ron Curse to a one-year contract. Um, I was trying to find some of the numbers for it, but I'm pretty sure it's a veteran minimum because he's primarily going to be a special teams player. But they can also utilize him as a backup hybrid safety um kind of like how they're doing with keanu neal so he could be like a backup like that um he could tackle pretty well he's not he, like i said he's been a rotational guy most of his career more of a special teams player than on defense but he has played on defense so just a little about J. Ron Curse. I know that he's had some off-field issues as well, but I'm pretty sure the Dallas Cowboys had a conversation with him about that and his agent as far as those things. I'm pretty sure those things are clear and um, probably not going to be an issue maybe because I don't think they would have signed them if it was, considering that they didn't sign Alden Smith. And I'm going to get into the Alden Smith thing too at the end of the video um, to clarify some things because I know some people are confused about that as well. Uh, he's a seventh round. So J. Ron Curse is a seventh round pick out of Clemson, 2006. In 2016, he was drafted in the seventh round of the 2016 draft by the Vikings. Um, uh, he played 62 games for the Vikings. He had five starts with them uh, in his first four seasons. Then last year, he went to the Lions. He played 11 games total. He started seven of those, and he had a career-high 59 tackles um, with, the, with the Lions. Now, that's not including what he did on special teams because, again, they used him double duty. He, he played backup role in the defense, and he also was a core special teamer. And he actually was the uh, – when he was with the Vikings, he was the um, special teams captain. So he was basically to the Vikings like how C.J. Goodwin is to us as far as the special teams ace. Now, the funny thing about that is how they started looking at him with the Dallas Cowboys is because we have George Edwards. Remember, George Edwards used to be his defensive coordinator when he played with the Vikings, just like when we had Everson Griffin. You know, they, he was a, um, George Edwards was, was the uh, defensive coordinator. Some people didn't even think that we still had George Edwards on the staff because we changed defensive coordinators, but George Edwards is still on the staff, so don't forget that. Um, J. Ron Curse is 27 years old currently. He's played 73 total career games, um, 12, 12 starts total, 130 tackles total on defense, uh, 10 pass breakups, and just one interception. Ironically, though, that one interception was against the Cowboys, uh, Dak Prescott. I think it was a deep ball that Dak Prescott threw. I think when we played the Lions, I think it was. Um, when he was with the Lions. And then I think I think it was when Dak just threw like a deep ball, just a random ass deep ball. It was probably one of those interceptions that Dak threw at the end of a quarter, like just trying to just throw the ball deep. I think it was one of those, and then he just basically caught it for the interception. But it is what it is. So, uh, but that was his only interception. Ironically, it's on the team that against the team that he's now signed to. It's funny how things happen. It's funny how life rotates and recycles itself doesn't it <laughs> i hate wearing these masks though because it makes my beard all like scrunched up and stuff like that my beard can't flourish in COVID. 
Sorry, I know that's off topic, but you know. So, um, so that's it with uh, J. Ron Curse. Now to Demonte uh, Kazi Kazi um, and Malik Hooker. So Malik Hooker tweeted after his um, visit with the Cowboys said it went great. Now I heard some other news that it didn't go so well. So what's the truth? We don't know. Um, will they sign Malik Hooker? I don't know. I, I just know what I hear. I heard that they're still looking into it. As as much as they're they and they actually tried to get a contract done with Demonte last night because they knew that he's going to see the Lions today. So we'll figure out we'll find out today whether he signs with the Lions or if he ends up coming to the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Dallas Cowboys kind of really want Kazi KZ whatever because of the ties with his old coordinator Dan Quinn. He already knows the defense they were running. He knows what Dan Quinn wants. He knows what he expects out of his defensive players. So it's kind of a common thing. Now if you get Malik Hooker, I like what I see with Malik Hooker is just the injury history thing. So I don't know. It all really all depends on how the physicals went. That that is the determining factor on Malik Hooker is is basically the the injury history and if he will be able to hold up. And again, the contracts with both of them are going to be incentive laid based upon their performance. So if they stay healthy, they get more money. So that's going to be written into the contracts if these two guys get signed, which is the main reason why J. Ron is signed already and the other two guys are not because they got to figure out these contracts. So, which is the reason why DeMonte's agent is like, okay, well, we're going to look at another team as well. Uh, shop around, basically shop around, see what we can get. If, if the Lions not biting, then they'll probably end up signing with the Cowboys. So it really depends on what this today and this weekend holds. So we're just playing the waiting game for the rest of the information that comes out. And of course, as we know, Dallas Cowboy News always comes out randomly. Also, before I end this video, to clarify the Alden Smith thing, and shout out to um, um, Big Fish. Um, Mike Fisher, shout out to you, brother. Um, everybody kept talking about this Alden Smith thing and, and, and why the Cowboys didn't resign him. People thinking that they just didn't want him. And I'm like, no, that's not true. The Dallas Cowboys did want Alden Smith. They, want, they had every intention on signing him. But he had issues. Nobody knows what those issues are. Those issues have not been stated. They, everything's been hush-hush. It's been behind closed doors. Only people that know are the people involved in the situation. Um, the Cowboys did inform Alden Smith that they're not re-signing him. Now, the reason being, we don't know, but apparently he had some off-field issues. We don't know what that is. We don't know if he had relapses from before. We don't know if, if he did something new. We don't know what happened. And I'm not judging either. Because I'm not a judgmental individual, especially if I don't know all the facts. That is the reason why the, the Dallas Cowboys are not bringing Alden Smith back. They had every intention on doing it before. They wanted him, which that signing of Terrell Basham tells you right there, that was the insurance policy. Just in case Alden Smith, something happened and he, he wasn't able to come back. Um, I know I, I've, I've seen people tweet and, and write messages on boards and stuff about the situation. They're mad at the Cowboys because they didn't resign Alden Smith. It's not because they didn't want to. It's not because of his talent. It's not because he's slow or whatever people say. It's, it's primarily because of that incident, whatever it is that happened. So that's it and that's all. So I don't know what to tell you outside of that. But that's all I have now. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box about J. Ron Curse. Uh, understand. You have to fill around your roster. Everything is not just a steak on a plate. You got to have side pieces. These side pieces are what the Dallas Cowboys are getting. And bit by bit, they are making this defense better and better. So understand that and 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 just trust the process. Not to use a, a, a Jason Garrett-ism, but that's what it is. That's what the Dallas Cowboys are doing. They're, they're trying to cross their T's and dot... Uh, cross their T's and dot their I's. That's the right way. Not dot their eyes across their t's i mean you know what i mean <laughs> so when i say it backwards just so you know when i do say that phrase backwards i mean that's when they fucking up when i say it right that means that they're doing the right thing so understand that so and that's the thing like i just you know we'll, we'll see what happens with these other two safeties um they they're looking at some of the guys in the draft like sertan and 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 um J.C. Horn, he had a really good pro day. So we'll see what happens with some of these guys um, coming up in the draft. And 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 if Pitts falls, don't be surprised if they pick him too. So um, 
So we'll see what happens. Dallas Cowboys got 10 draft picks. They can they can sell some of those picks off and move back into the draft in whatever situation they want to. But let me know what you guys think about J. Ron Curse and the other two guys, Malik Hooker and uh, Demonte, and 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 as far as whether they'll they'll still actually come and be a cowboy because it's quite possible if things work out they can get both of them because they can if they want to so with that being said um dallas uh dallas cowboy fans it's your boy e2 blue always keeping it real y'all like share comment subscribe to the channel